This is Leila Haddad, a native Gazan, journalist, and author of The Gaza Kitchen. Catches are not as big as they used to be, and that's primarily because the fishermen can't go beyond three to six nautical miles. You could continue fishing, but what happens? Uh, they'll shoot at the fishermen, uh, they'll spray cold water at them, they'll destroy their boats, they'll cut their fishing nets, uh, they'll detain them. So it's obviously really risky business. Nine nautical miles, that's where that deep sea channel is, where you're going to get the really good catches. So Gaza is the last Palestinian area with access to the coast. That's really important to remember. You know, you have the West Bank just an hour away, but many of the Palestinians there have never seen the sea, have never been to the sea. For me, being from Gaza, being a child of diaspora, I always thought food was a really interesting way to be able to tell the Palestinian story. Being able to discover this lost history, this Palestinian past, Plus, the food is really damn good. <laughs> right, that it is. And it was, I think, also important to be able to, to provide Palestinians an image of themselves that they recognize, a very humane image, because all they're seeing in the media, whether here or there, whether on Arabic uh, channels or abroad, you know, is these kind of very caricatured images of, uh, uh, you know, gunmen and, you know, whaling women and this kind of grim, you know, cinder block landscape. Uh, you're not entering into the private homes. And what does a kitchen look like or what does a, you know, a family you see here? Yeah. Do you like it, she's asking? Absolutely delicious. Really, really good.